morning. This is one of the art rooms um, of Q3 Tipton Academy. And if you want to just have a look around the studio to begin with, and then I'm going to tell you about the Beat Tech course, Art and Design Level 3, that we do in this room. The Beat Tech course that we have on offer is either the BTEC Foundation Diploma, which is one and a half A levels, or the BTEC Extended Certificate, which is one A level, the equivalent to one A level. The difference between BTEC and GCSE is that it's a vocational course, and the students are commissioned as if they're an artist, so they have to work to a set brief. This is Unit 14, Textiles, Materials and Techniques, and we're working to the brief that they are designing visual merchandising for Selfridges in Birmingham. So that's how they start the unit. <coughs> they experiment with lots of different textile techniques and they create a portfolio. So here you can see some products that are made by using textile um, techniques. And here we've used shibori where you put beads and bottle tops, anything inside fabric, you put elastic around them and then you steam them like you do vegetables and it gives you this beautiful texture. That is another part of shibori. We do machine embroidery, we do batik and tie-dye, weaving, lots of different techniques that they, you can experiment with. After you've done the experimentation and you know about textiles, then you start to look for your designers or your artists, depending on whether you want a fine art outcome or whether you want a fashion outcome. And here you can see that this student was looking towards a textile outcome. She was particularly interested in denim jackets and upcycling. Next, she started to look at the artists to inspire us, such as Ian MacArthur, because she liked the pattern. And then she started to do her drawings, um, looking carefully at flowers and experimenting with um, machine embroidery. Then she went on to create more experiments using different textile techniques. These are different um, different students' work that I'm showing you now. Um, and here you can see this particular student has looked towards doing the denim jacket. She's researched it. And then she's produced... She has a denim jacket that is recycled and she's produced um, hand embroidery, machine embroidery and painting that goes on the back, machine embroidered flowers that are attached to the jacket. When they finish that, they have to evaluate the um, project, the unit of work, the coursework, and then they get questionnaires filled in to get feedback from people to see how well they've done. That is one of the internal coursework units. You will do two, for the extended certificate, you do two internal um, coursework units and you do Unit 1, which is Recording and Communication, which is an exam which you produce work for, practical work. This student has done a fine art outcome, lots of drawings, looking at portraits, um, and that is one of the units. And then the second unit is, a, is an, an essay that you have to write, but you do get plenty of time to prepare for that, so that's fine. Now, some of the outcomes, as I've said, the final pieces for Selfridges, for visual merchandising, some students decide to do fashion, okay? This student left art behind in year nine and very bravely came onto the course with lots of commitment and hard work and experimental work. She became really good at fashion and she ended up producing a dress for her final piece. This student came in to the art room and had left art behind at year nine and actually came
came out with a distinction at the end of the course. And this is her final piece where you can see she loves machine embroidery and applique and has constructed the dress. We like to reflect the community in the work that we do and students are able to choose what their outcomes are going to be. We also do, it looks like we've done a lot of fashion, but we also do fine art as you've seen just here. And also you can see here, we do quite a few different canvas paintings, lots of drawing. Again, we've used the, um, the machining to draw and make portraits and lots of nice paintings. The qualities that you need for this course are enthusiasm. We want you to enjoy what you're doing. We want you got to be hard working. It isn't an easy course, it's very time consuming. If you like practical work, then obviously it's really good. Imaginative, creative. Organisation is the key with BTEC. You are working flat out for the two years and you need to be committed, reliable, achieve your best and be able to do analytic writing. What you, the work that you put in will be the result that you will get and you'll know exactly as you're going along the course because we've got so many pieces of work that have been done in the past and been graded so you can see what a distinction looks like or a merit. This is sculpture that has been produced, some of it has been produced for A-level but this one was produced for BTEC as well so if you wanted to go into sculpture you could do. Some of these students have used graffiti so you can see up there that there's a nice piece of um, stencil work that has been sprayed and also the joker is a canvas that was also done using um, fine art techniques. The, the final unit is unit three where you have to investigate the creative process of different artists and again there are portfolio boards, there are, this student has done lots of experimental work using the sewing machine and has come up with a final piece that was inspired by Alexandra McQueen. Um, this has been worked by constructing the garment and machine embroidering leaves as well. So that's BTEC really and this is the art room. If you need to know anything else about the BTEC work or you want to look closely at the portfolios then please come to this room and if you want to come and have a look that's fantastic. The most important thing about this course is to enjoy yourself and follow the work that you would like to do.